Welcome back to Tetrican Super Monoblock. One of the common things you'll find with a neglected 4-track is that the plastic door over the cassette cavity is broken. So today I'm going to show you how to fix that. Typically what happens is one of the legs, hinges, I don't know what you call, is, is broken. You can see that here. And if you've got the other part still rattling about in the machine, you could just glue that. I've used super glue in the past and it's stayed fixed for a while, but then it's broken. So a much stronger solution to the same problem is spin welding, which is a technique that I've demonstrated before for mending plastic cases and so on. I'm going to be going a step further with this video because what I've got here is two broken doors. This one has got one broken hinge, but it's also got a broken clip that would keep the door shut. This one, the clip's okay, but it's also got a broken hinge. So what I'm going to be doing is sawing off this one, and I'll probably throw that away at that point, and uh, gluing and spin welding it onto there. So if you've got the parts of your door and you want to fix it, then obviously ignore the first section of this video in which I saw that off. Both these doors, by the way, are identical but come from different units. There's several units that use this kind of door. I think this one was from a 464 and this one's from a 488 Mark One, but it's the same door that's on the 688, the 644, the 424 Mark Two, the 424 Mark One. Forgive me, this is probably out of focus because I've got manual focus on, but I hope you can see that there's a seam there. So what I'll do is I'll cut along that seam and then this broken one that I'm going to be attaching it to, I'll also cut along that seam there. That way I know the proportions are right and so these holes are going to line up with the mounting posts correctly. If I had a craft saw, hacksaw and a vise to hand, then that would probably be the best thing. But although I do possess such things, they're in storage after a house fire last year. So what I'm going to do is score here with a scalpel, I'm using an X-Acto blade, and then I'm going to deepen that score using the edge of this little jeweler's file. I think I got a set for about seven or eight great British pounds, and uh, they're useful not just for filing, but they're good for sawing plastic. So once that's wide enough, I'm going to use this Tamiya craft tool little hand saw. It's a good thing to have just to get into awkward spaces for cutting stuff. It's probably going to be a slower process than if I had a proper hacksaw on hand. I'll pause the video just now until I've got that removed. And so I've done that sawing and I've also roughed up the surfaces a little bit with the file so that when I glue that on there then the glue will take well. The gluing is just a preliminary step so that that doesn't move around too much when I'm spin welding it. I usually manage to glue myself to myself when I'm using glue, but I am slightly less of a liability when I use a gel-based glue. Gorilla Gel is what I tend to use. I have applied the glue to both surfaces, attached them, and I've got a little bulldog clip on there so that it stays straight while it's drying. The glue has now dried. So I've got some ABS rod protruding from the chuck of my off-brand Dremel drill. It's on the highest speed setting. Really what's going to happen is the friction's going to melt the plastic, acrylic, whatever that is on either side. If I apply pressure, that's going to cause that to melt faster. And I can actually wear this down and introduce some new plastic into the joint. <laughs> So then what I can do is go back with my uh, jeweler's file again and file down all this lumpy stuff so that that's not going to get in the way as it passes through the portal in the case. Stop the video again just now and come back once I've done that. And uh, you can see I've filed uh, the ABS plastic flat. It's very slightly thicker than it was originally but not so much so that there's going to be any problem reinstalling that. Excuse autofocus shitting the bed. Here's the door that I fixed, installed into the case of a Tascam 488. I'm making a video about cleaning this, so watch out for that. Check my channel. And uh, yeah, there's the mend there. And in fact, it's not even visible from this side. It's far enough that way that you would need to have the unit deconstructed in order to even be able to see that that's there. 
Hope you find that useful. I've got a bunch of other videos about spin welding and that kind of thing. A bunch of videos about fixing these things. Going to be doing more and more videos. Demonstrating the machines, reviewing them, making music and stuff. So please give the channel a subscribe and the video a like if you would like to see more of that.